HCF of 60 and 114. To find the HCF, we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is, see, 60 here, 114 here. This is your step 1. Next. Last digit 0, so take 2. First number 6, when do we get 6 in 2 table? 2, 3 is 6. This 0 as it is, down. Now last digit 0, so take 2. First number 3, a number close to 3 in 2 table is 2, 1 is 2. 3 minus 2, 1, 1 carried forward 10. When do we get 10 in 2 table? 2, 5 is 10. Now 15 is 3, 5 is 15. 5 is a prime number, so 5, 1 is 5. The other number, last digit 4, e1, so take 2. First number 1, smaller than 2, so 2 numbers, 11. A number close to 11. In 2 table is 2 5 10. 11 minus 10, 1 1 carried forward 14. When do we get 14 in 2 table? 2 7 is 14. Now last digit 7 not E1, so this number is not divisible by 2. Next prime number 3. To check divisibility by 3, for that we should add the digits. 5 plus 7, we get 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So this number also divisible by 3. So take 3. First number 5. A number close to 5 in 3 table is 3 1 3. 5 minus 3, 2. 2 carried forward 27. When do we get 27 in 3 table? 3 9 is 27. Now 19. 19 is a prime number, so 19 once 19. Therefore, our HCF is HCF is the product of the numbers which should be present here and also here. Here and here. So now let us find the numbers which are present here and here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So cut 2 right here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. Next number 5. Do we have 5 here? No. No more numbers have been left out. So our HCF is 2 into 3, 6 is our HCF. 